Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be working in the Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook printed on Bible paper and recreating something that I did in my Bible in 2 Corinthians. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. And as we are in this Lenten season, we're getting rid of the old, we're bringing in the new as Easter comes, as, as Jesus comes to make a new creation of us. And this is a page that I did in my Bible and the rework of it worked great. It started out really terrible, but I thought since I now know how to do what I ended up with, then I would show it to you here in my workbook since that page is already taken in my Bible. I wanted to make a kaleidoscope of butterflies. My pastor preached recently about this verse and, and talked about the, the different people that God has, has promised will have this new creation within them. And that it's men and women and the old and the young and everyone is different. And, but we all still have that same promise that the new creation is coming. So that's what my, my vision was, was this kaleidoscope of many different types and colors of butterflies. What I had started off with in my Bible page was doing it in watercolor pencil. And I thought I would just draw these little watercolor butterflies and paint them and wouldn't that be great? And it came out like mush. It looked very stilted. And I started taking the baby wipe to it and saturated the paper and tried to just really almost wash the paper clean of everything that was on there. And I ended up with this soft, mushy thing that started looking like actually moving butterflies that were flitting around like this. So my recommendation, if you want to try this, get your, your practice paper out, your Bible journaling made simple workbook. And you know, put that swoosh of yellow down or whatever color you want to have as your basis and then draw in parts of butterflies. The secret to this was not having full butterflies because when I tried doing the, the butterfly wings, you know, trying to make them even on both sides and all that sort of thing, that's when everything started looking stilted. But when I ended up with these half butterflies, just with little points on the edges of some of them, and just a few of them looked enough like butterflies to convey that. But if you've seen any pictures or, or videos of a huge group of butterflies, you don't see any definition. All you see is wings fluttering, fluttering, fluttering all over the place. And the, the illustration that I ended up with in my Bible and that I'm making here is very much what I had in my head that I wanted to do when I wanted to create something for this verse because it has a lot of different types of butterflies. There's movement, there's action. God is at work in all of us. He's making new creations out of every single one of us. And we're all at different stages. There's some of us that are still a half a wing. Some days I feel like I'm a quarter of a wing. Some days I feel like I'm hiding behind another butterfly. But notice as I'm doing this, I'm not only just putting down little dabs of paint, I'm going in with the baby wipe and pulling paint off. If I ended up painting too deliberate of a butterfly and it, it wasn't soft enough, just dab some of that color off and let it be loose, let it be free. And it's gonna give that overall sense that, that there's a lot of motion going on here. This kind of loose technique would also work really well for a beautiful garden, just making parts of flowers and creating a whole different cascade of different sizes, shapes, and colors of flowers. So again, going back in with a baby wipe, you can go in with a tissue, damp tissue, all different kinds of things to lift off some of the paint. And then I'm just going in with more color, trying to have enough yellow on yellow so that it doesn't end up too much a cacophony of color, but that the colors that are there are bigger splashes because there's a little less of them and more of the the base yellow color that I'm using for the whole thing. While I was making this video, I also was thinking about the Bible journaling community and how much this is a celebration of that. In the past few months since the books were released, I have gotten so many emails from people about how Bible journaling has transformed their lives. 
whether just Bible journaling in general or something they read in the books or something they tried because of the encouragement that they got in them. And there was one that was very recent that sticks in my mind right now because it's someone who talked about my books being used in prisons. And I have a real heart for prison ministry. I used to serve in a women's penitentiary in a prison ministry. And the thought of my creations, my books, with all this, this artwork that I've put in them being used by God to create new creations around the world and even in places like prisons, to lift up his word, to get people drawn into the scriptures. I, I just can hardly even believe that God has made such a beautiful creation out of what I have made with my own hands. And I am humbled by that. So thank you all for your support and for sharing the books with people that you know and love and for using them to grow yourself in the Word of God and in your artwork. And I will see you guys again next week with another video. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Bye-bye.